everyone this is Amit Pabali founder and managing director of CR Forex in today's presentation we are going to discuss four things first we'll be decoding US data which came last week then what is happening in Chinese currency then outlook for WP pair for coming days and finally strategy for exporter and importer now let us first analyze what is happening in US market if you see the chart most of the data in US were coming negative like consumer confidence data came negative manufacturing data came negative plus apart from all of this negative data last week we had a speech from Mr. Powell which was sounding less hawkish that gives a clear indication that dollar index is going to move towards 102 level in coming days if that happens that is a positive sign for dollar rupee pair now let us move to the second point which is what is happening in Chinese currency last week interestingly Chinese currency has given its biggest single week fall since 2005 and if you see the chart in technical analysis form Chinese currency is making a technical pattern which is called head and shoulder pattern a head hai, side mein do shoulder hai. it's a technically a reversal sign so if C, uh, USD CNH breaks or close below 7 level on a weekly basis then we can expect it to go down as low as 6.70 if that happens it has a positive correlation with rupee and rupee can also appreciate because of Chinese currency appreciation so now let us understand what is the outlook for dollar rupee pair on the global front dollar index is losing its strength and there are higher probability that Chinese currency can also appreciate towards 6.70 now rupee has a positive correlation with both the factors dollar index and Chinese currency so the view remains the same what we have been discussing from last couple of weeks that any upticks has to be sold any uptick towards 81.50 to 82 level should be taken as an opportunity to sell rupee for a target of 81 first target second target is 80.50 but the most important event next week in India is Gujarat election results will come out there is a very low probability that BJP will lose Gujarat election but in case if that happens then we can see a very sharp momentum in equity markets and rupee equity market might fall and rupee might get weaker but as we have seen the global factors are not supporting weaker rupee any upticks has to be sold by exporter uh, for a target of 80, 50 and 80 levels in coming days now let us discuss strategy for thin margin exporters like agri exporter or chemical exporter uh, last week we have suggested them that they should follow 100% back to back hedging policy on the current week also we are suggesting them the same that they should follow 100% back to back hedging policy for hedging they can uh, participate between 8140 to 8170 kind of a level those exporter who wants to wait for better level they can keep a stop loss of 8120 if 8120 is broken they should immediately go and hedge now let us discuss strategy for thick margin exporters like textile exporters or engineering exporters or pharma exporter as the overall view of the pair remains on the stronger side we are suggesting that any upticks has to be taken as an opportunity to hedge if any uh, exporter is hedging basis on the confirm order then they should hedge 70 to 80 percent of their exposure between 8150 to 8220 kind of a level if they are hedging on an anticipation basis they can then they can keep a hedge ratio between 50 to 55 percent now let us discuss strategy for importers on last week video we suggested importers to cover their import for next 10 to 15 days between 81 to 8120 kind of a level and rupee made a low of 81.02 if any importer who has missed buying at those level they can again target to cover their import for next 10 to 15 days between 81.10 to 81.20 and they are supposed to keep a strict stop loss of 81.90 and 82.20 with this i will end my today's presentation jai hind namaskar fir milenge thank you